All right, so let's first go ahead and put these front ones on. Those are the easiest because they're either going to be straight or they're going to be 15 degrees. In the mandible, straight usually works pretty good. So I got my first one on there. And I'm just using light finger pressure right now. You're going to go ahead and tighten them up later, though. All right. So there's a few different sizes for... Um, for these abutments. Uh, this one's like a four, this one's three, there's like 0.75 millimeter two. I like to use either the three or the four and the reason is because um, after you, you're gonna suture up over these and then if you're using a short one you're gonna cover you're gonna be covering it up. You're gonna cover up the abutment platform and then it's gonna be hard to uh, seat your conversion prosthesis afterwards so your converted denture it's going to be hard for you to seat it so just use light finger pressure I'm just going to show you with one of each here and so now you're going to place your angled your angled abutments let me just grab mine give me a second all right here's one of my angled abutments Angled abutments typically come with this little um, this little thing on them, so you can evaluate the angle as they're going in. So let's see, so you can see that little angle correction right here. So this is the longer side. This is a shorter side. The longer side goes to the distal or goes towards the area that you're trying to to correct, if if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm going to put it on right there, and I can see that it's kind of changing my angle up that way. All right, one thing that helps with these guys, if you look at the hex on here, if you look at the hex on this implant, you want the flat portion of the hex to be towards the buckle. Oh, the flat portion of the hex to be towards the buckle because that's going to give you the best angle correction. So let me go ahead and, and make sure that it's facing the right the right orientation. Let's see. Yep. So basically you want that hex on the plane that you're trying to correct the angle. So right now it's it is right on the buckle, but I'm going to bring I'm going to twist it just a little bit just to change up that plane a little bit. So I'm going to twist it that way a little. All right, so now it's going to bring the angle that way. And I kind of play with this until, until I'm confident that it's going to bring my angle to where I want it. There we go. So now I opened up a 30. And this one I just had in a sterilization pouch, and I don't know if it was a 30 or not. But let's go ahead and place them on and, uh, and see how they correct the angle. All right. So I'm just going to put this on with light finger pressure. You have to put one finger here, and then you tighten a little bit. And then sometimes this thing actually won't tighten very much unless you lightly back this one out all right so I'm just putting this on with light finger pressure I know I've said that like a hundred times but you want to make sure you don't tighten it right now because you're not sure if it's the angle that you want yet all right so now to help me assess these angles I'm gonna put some titanium cylinders on here let me open these guys up These little, these little screws are so easy to lose, so don't lose them. Be real careful. All right, so I got one cylinder on, cylinder on there. I'm going to continue putting the rest of them on.
the reason that I'm taking the time to do this right now is because if you're unhappy with an angle, it's really, it's really hard to correct it later. You got to correct it right now. All right. <clears throat> so what do you think? I think we approximated our angles pretty good, right? This one's straight. This one's 30. Booyah. That looks pretty good. Maybe there's some deviation, but it won't matter, right? You can... This is super restorable. So let's go ahead and put the rest of the sleeves on, or the rest of the cylinders on. <clears throat> so we know this side's good. Now let's check out this side. All right, so those three implants are looking pretty good. I love it. All right, so now let's move on to this one right here, our implant that we had a little bit of trouble with. Um, what I might suggest doing is backing it out, prepping it deeper, and then putting it back in. But remember, you don't want to lose your engagement. You want to make sure that these all have really good primary stability. Um, all right, so I place the abutment on here, and I can tell already that I'm going to have to rotate this implant because right now it's it's kind of it's correcting the angle in this plane, but I want it to correct the angle in this plane, not this way. I want to correct correct it this way. So I'm going to rotate the implant, and I'm going to twist it this way. Like that. Let's see. So let's see if that corrected it. Nope. See? Alright, cool. So almost. I'm just gonna twist it more. See, so you want the, the fat part, so the angled part, the corner part, to be right where you want the angle to correct from. So you don't want it correcting from here, you want it correcting from here. So I'm gonna keep rotating it. Do little by little. All right, now I think I overdid it. Actually, that looks pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, I overdid it a bit, so I'm just going to rotate it back. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, sorry about that. Yeah, so I, all right, I rotated it, and now I'm gonna go ahead and secure it right there. All right, and I'm gonna back this guy out. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna put a titanium cylinder on there. Alright, so this one actually, this one's not as well angled as the rest of them. Remember I was, I was telling you as I placed it, this one's going to be a little troublesome. And so let me just see if it's the abutment, because remember this abutment was in a sterilization pouch. I don't know if it actually was 30 degrees or if it was 15 degrees or, or something like that. So let's switch out the abutment and see if that helps at all. And I'm glad this is happening because... This is like a real time, this is like a real clinical scenario. Um, and you do want to be prepared to, um, to troubleshoot this. And this, this can take anywhere from like 10 minutes or it could take like 30 minutes just to make sure all your abutments are lining up. So definitely good to see this right now. 
and I'm happy that it's happening here <laughs> while I'm showing you this versus on a patient. All right, so let's see. So I'm going to take this one because I know this one's 30 degrees for sure. And I'm going to move this one over here. And I'm going to see if that helps. And you know what? It sure does. So now it's parallel. So what that means is that this abutment that I had right here was not 30 degrees. This one's 15 degrees. So what to do? We have a 130 degree abutment, 115 degree abutment. Ideally, right, get another, get another 30 degree abutment. But let's see if we can make it work. In a real clinical situation, just make sure you have enough ab angled abutments. Make sure you have the right parts. All right. <clears throat> okay, so just by switching those two around, by flip-flopping them, we're able to get a better angle cor correction. If I did have a 30 degree abutment, all of these would be really, really parallel and really good. But hey, I had to troubleshoot on the fly. Uh, I wasn't prepared to do that, um, but it turned out okay. All right, so let's see. We're gonna look at it from the side view here. These all look very restorable. I'm happy with it. They're you know they're not exactly 100% parallel, but they're very 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 restorable. Nothing wrong I can say about them. Now let's look on this side. On this side, these are divergent. These are what like 15 degrees divergent. Still, with the with the um, multi-unit platform, it's still very restorable. That um, that platform allows enough taper that you can still draw on all of those. So, in a perfect world, yes, I would switch this one out for a 30 degree abutment, and I would restore that. Um, if this is what you see in your clinical scenario, and um, and you don't have any other parts, I mean. I think this is still restorable and I would still go for it. Um, if you're feeling really um, apprehensive about it, you can always load this. So go ahead and do the conversion same day. And then you can switch out this abutment later. It's a, it's a lot more work, but you can always do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that at all. All right, so you got your abutment seated. That <laughs> that took a while, but I hope that was I hope that was helpful.